table once. I'd like us first of all to lift up our voice and say, Lord, for all of your acts, all of your wonders, which we are partakers of, we return all the praise to you. Lift up your voice. Give him glory from the depth of your heart. If God has done any wonderful thing for you before, lift up your voice and thank him. I return all the praise. I return all the glory to you. You whose word has never fallen to the ground. You who has never failed before. Thank you for granting us witness of signs and wonders. Thank you for your manifest acts. Thank you for strange miracles. Strange healings. Strange open doors and breakthroughs. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for your hand of performance. That have not been withheld from us. Thank you for your hand. That rewrite the stories of men. Thank you for your hand. That wipe away tears. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Jesus, I am grateful. Jesus, I am grateful. Jesus, I am grateful. I bless your name. I give you praise. I bless your name. I give you praise. I bless your name. I give you praise. You are worthy for all the signs. You are worthy for all the wonders, for all the miracles, for all the healings, for all the deliverance. We say thank you for turning away reproach. We give you praise for establishing rest round about. I return praise to you. I return glory to you for your word that has never failed before. I return praise to you. I return glory to you. Jesus, I am grateful. Jesus, I am grateful. Holy Spirit, I say thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. This evening will be somebody's own evening. Whether you like, say amen. Or you say amen. This evening will be somebody's evening. Take your seat. If I made me not to sleep early. The son lost the job. As a result of um, manipulation and conditions. So she came rolling on the floor. Fast, I feel like giving up. I said, You know what I don't like to hear? If you want me to hear, you don't say what will provoke me. So he said, Pastor, I'm in my lowest end. In fact, everything is just scattering. I say, things need to scatter so that God can gather for the child of God. The nature of that job was, um, was a good one, but it had an undertone, a condition that uh, you will remain here on the condition that you will marry my daughter. So when the center cannot hold again, the they gave him red card, which was a good red card. So when he came back, I told him congratulations. I told him congratulations because I said, your destiny has been delivered from eternal damnation. What God did not arrange for you that man is arranging for you is hellfire. I told, I told him congratulations. He said, Pastor, I can't understand. I said, congratulations first. I said, the congratulations before we pray. So he accepted the congratulation. I told him that road was not designed for you. It's like a slavery walk. They will give you the money, but you will never have a voice. And the day you say you will not marry their daughter, they will arrange you and sack you. And they arranged you and sack you. I said, 
Thank God the sack came so that God's own appointment will come. It's not up to two months old. He got a job and his monthly salary is starting, excluding allowance and other things, 1.5 M. You know like that one? <laughs> so and I said, now you have a choice to marry who you want. Not who they impose for you. He called me yesterday and said, Pastor, I'm overwhelmed. I said, you never start. He said, I can't, I can't explain it. When God wants to do his thing, he does a claim. So that you will know that he's the one that did it and return all the glory back to him. Are you what I'm saying now? I will prefer God to do it for me so that I can give him glory than for man to do it for you and be because if not for me. (laughs) If not for me. So my sleep yesterday was sweet. After preaching and losing my voice and I had another awesome testimony. This God is too good oh. I hear what I'm saying now. This God is a good God. I bet you, mark my word, God will show you his goodness. I like the way Ayo Richard Jaffa says it. It may be difficult, but not impossible. It may be what? But not what? I see God giving you a change of story. Oh God, arise, manifest your wonders. Wonders is the heritage of every born again child of God. You are ordained for wonders inexplainable signs. There is what the arm of flesh can do. But what the arm of flesh can do is limited. But there is what the God of wonders can do. And what the word of God of wonders can do is unlimited. There are things that are possible with man. There are also things that are only possible with God. That is what we call wonders. There are things that can be explained by natural laws. But there are things that even professors, learned men, skilled men cannot explain by even the natural laws. Now, I want you to hear this. It is natural for man to look at you and predict you. But when the wonders of God begin to manifest in your life, you become unpredictable. And I'd like you to hear this. The ways of God, they are unpredictable. These are the ways of the Spirit. And one thing I know too clear is that signs and wonders bring you to the realm of unpredictable signs and wonders. If the events of your life can be predicted by men, then God is not with you. But when the events that are taking place in your life cannot be predicted by men, then there is an unseen hand making things work for you. And that is exactly what is going to take place for someone today. Signs and wonders are God's device to solve 
seemingly impossible human problems. Problems that people will look at and say it will only take God. I know there are issues in your life now that people are wondering how will these ones be. It will only take God. Whatever will only take God requires a sign. And whatever requires a sign needs only your prayer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Every time a sign is to be made manifest, it is God appearing in your battle when you have lost all your tactics. When you have finished all your strategy. When in all your thinking, say, I don't know what else to do. In fasting, I've fasted. In praying, I have prayed. In sacrificing, I've sacrificed. In operation, go, I don't go tired. Are you wrong saying that? Please forgive me. I lost my voice in the midnight. So what every one of us here need now is a sign. Tell your neighbor you need a sign. A sign is what you need to end all the question marks. A sign is what you need to end all the suspicions. A sign is what you need to end all the confusions. A sign is what you need to silence your mockers. A sign is what you need to silence the people that have given up on you. Hear me? Signs and wonders are still taking place. And one must definitely take place for you today. Yeah. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. A notable sign will take place for you today. Yeah. Signs are God's ordained tool for your life to be glorified. Let me put it this way. No matter the strength of our opposition or resistance, one word from God is enough to settle you with a sign. One word from God. One word from God. One word from God. I like it when men give up on you. I like it when men give up on me so that God can show up for me. No wonder the psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my head. He said, my head cometh from God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Hear me? Until your focus shifts from men to God. You are not yet set to see a sign. And in most cases, I've discovered that God allows men to fail you before he can help you. Because if they don't fail you, you may not look up. Woe is he that puts his trust in man. People that trust in God, their prayer frequency is hot. Lord, I've had enough disappointment. If you cannot do it, let it remain undone. Hey, God likes that one. It's okay. You know I can do it. Okay, I will show you that I can do it. Today, God will prove a point in somebody's life. There is no enemy too strong to limit your testimony from happening. In case you forget anything, write that one down. There is no enemy too strong to limit your testimony from happening. The force of prayer releases two force. That is 
is why science and wonders is double edged. There are positive signs and there are negative signs. The positive signs is the one that releases your blessing. The negative signs is the one that cuts down every obstacles and barriers. The force of prayer guarantees the release of your blessings. The force of prayer also guarantees the release of fire against the enemy of your wonders. If you are not in second service yesterday, go and buy the tape. That's if you are not in YouTube, make sure you go and get the tape. People that stay consistently in prayer, they put the hand of God that works signs and wonders regular. Hear me and hear me where well. it is time to live abnormal. Do you know what I mean by living abnormal? Living in signs and wonders. What do I mean? You get to a point where people no longer understand how blessings are flowing for you. How things are working for you. But you are still making progress. But they cannot deny the fact that things are working for you. Living normal is living predictable. But living in the realm of signs is the realm of unpredictable manifestation. Hear me, it is possible. It is possible. God just told me now, I will give you a sign that will make you shed tears of joy. I don't know who the person is, but it must come to pass in your life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Every sign that will take place, the heavens must open. Every sign that will take place, the presence of God must be made manifest. Once the heavens are open, once the presence of God is made manifest, his hand must be stretched out. His hand must be stretched out. His hand must be stretched out. Let's take some scriptural points. Esther said, pray for me. I will also pray. But we must get before the king. To get this matter resolved, they prayed, they fasted. Protocols were broken. Permit me to say that Ahisuerus didn't even know that someone entered. Why? Prayer suspended the protocols. If prayer didn't suspend the protocol, who, who asked you to enter? Who asked you to enter? Didn't you know the rules? Oh, yeah. Go and nail her. But after the prayer, the physical and spiritual atmosphere was suspended. Was suspended because someone prayed. Hear me? You need prayer to suspend natural and spiritual laws. What do you want me to do for you? Just name whatever you want. I'm ready to do it. Now, Permit me to say that uh, if you were among the king's cabinet, the first thing that will come to your mind, hmm. you should say, This man, they okay. You should say, This guy knows you something. What's going on? We never see this type before. I've been done, they go in house. Well, hear me. Prayer broke it. By the prayer we are going to do tonight, Whatever is holding you will be broken. Amen. That amen is not good at all. Amen. Prayer, break it. Prayer, break it. Paul said, For a great door and effectual is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. It takes prayer to handle the adversaries of your signs. The adversaries of your wonders. 
I've discovered if you fail to do it, God will not touch it. What you fail to pray about, God will do nothing about. Don't deceive yourself. Oh, God will do it one day. When? When he pray. The day you start praying about it, that's when God will begin to do something about it. Anything you fail to pray about, God will also do nothing about. The implication is this. It is our prayer that commits the hand of God. It's our prayer that commits the hand of God. It's our prayer that commits the hand of God. Another notable sign which we must not fail. King, do you know what you will do now to make sure that uh, you catch him? Put a decree that nobody should pray. You will see he will disobey you. He prayed. King, should we say that any person that pray, you throw him into the... You signed it now. Yes. Throw him. Should I tell you something? Prayer can arrest your lions. You don't see that one as a sign. In fact, it's even one of the most terrible signs. The lion was already ready to eat. And now they brought another lion to come and cohabit with him. That's a sign. Hear me? Every time they set you up for destruction, God sets you up for a wonder. Amen. Pastor, please write that in down for me. Every time your enemy sets you up for destruction, God sets you up for a wonder. God set you up for a wonder. Oh, Daniel! Are you still alive? King Ideo, Ide Kakaraka, I'll be waiting for you. Ah. So the lion did not eat you up. Please bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. I'm sure. You know, Daniel was a praying man. Do you agree with me? Daniel was a praying man. So as he... A praying man generates spiritual magnetic field. So as he entered, that magnetic field and presence entered with him. Made it impossible for the lion to feel hungry. But rather he was seeing another lion. he came out the people that set him up they were the ones that were meant for meat should I tell you something whoever has been ganging up to stop your blessing today they will go for the meat they will go, today they will go for the meat if you are saying amen say better amen Another thing happened. Moses, what is in your hand? Walking stick. He says, stretch the rod. Every time you have come to your zero end, get ready for a new door. What did I say? Please, I beg you, Hear this. If a sign must take place in your life, don't suspend your brain. Don't suspend your senses. Don't think that everything is finished. There is always a way out. Scripture says he makes a way where there seem to be no way. He creates rivers in the deserts. God is a way maker. And signs and wonders is the instrument for God to create a new door. To make a new way. Moses, what is in your hand? He say rod. He say stretch the rod. You hear me? Everything God created hears. This flower hears. 
this carpet here, the ground you are matching here, even the earth, all earth here. Stretch the road. As the road was stretched, some people call it wind. Hear me, it's not wind. Angelic forces were mobilized. Pathfinder angels. Who has heard of that word before? There are pathfinder angels. They know how to tear a door, to tear a road open. Why? They have the might of the spirit. And as they were doing, the wind, the wind came. And made it level. So that there was no too much potter potter on the way. Are you getting what I'm saying now? And the world stood firm. The water stood firm like wall. I'm still trying to understand that physics. That aspect of physics. I remember there was a time it was a debate in our advanced geophysics class one time. When you break cohesion, what will happen? Water also exists like a cohesive force. People that understand what I'm saying, they know what I'm saying. But it was broken. Why? Somebody needed to pass. Wherever you need to pass, that the enemy has been blocking. Barriers will clear for you. The water stood firm like wall and everyone, the water didn't say, I don't tire, I go collapse, I go collapse. Everybody passed. And God said, stretch the rod again. As he stretched the rod, everything wind back. I want you to hear this. Laws will be aborted. Amen. Conditions will be suspended. Amen. Decisions will be altered. Amen. Barriers will be teared. Amen. Why? God is giving you your change of story. Amen. Hear me and hear me well. Until you see it so, God never makes it so. That songwriter say, I can see him. Walking in my favor, I can see him fighting in my battles. Pause. Do you know that your mind contributes to your signs? Your mind contributes to your signs. Whatever you are not able to see God do, He will never do. I, the Lord, will do nothing without your mind. Which means your mind contributes to what God will do in your life. If you lack a miracle mind, you will not have a miracle life. You need a miracle mind to experience the miraculous in your life. When you think lack, you live hard. But you, if you see God as your Jehovah Jireh, supply must come. So your mind contributes as a man thinketh in his heart. Our mind is so powerful, spiritual, so magnetic. Now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. So our mind is the miracle factory of our life. I won't forget what Young Gicho said. He said when he entered into the realm of creating miracle, he started by imagining amputated hands shoot out. Amputated legs shoot out. The thoughts dwell for so long. And when he now entered the miraculous, the things are happening. God will never by mistake bring to pass in your life what you have never imagined in your mind. Jeremiah, what's he has now? He said, I see the road of an almond tree. He said, thou has well seen. He said, I will hasten my word to perform it. I will hasten my word to perform it. Which means, what you picture in your mind 
will determine where my hand will stretch to. So if you can't picture it, even as the message is going on now, somebody's mind is is Angwarukuba. I know. Person's mind is not here. He's, he's thinking of the weight of the problem. You hear me? God is a problem dissolver. He said, I have not said to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. Any challenge you don't see being overturned will remain the way it is. But if you see God dissolving it for you, he will dissolve it for you. And I know the reason why we are gathered this night is for God to dissolve challenges. It's for God to open doors. It's for God to release the financial blessing. It's for God to make a way for you. It's for God to establish your laughter. If you are saying amen, say better amen. And one guarantee that I have is that as we pray, God they hear me. Oh. Me, I know God. Pastor, me, I know God they hear me. Scripture says, I know that God heareth non sinners. A sinner is not licensed to do signs and wonders. Am I saying the truth? I want you to hear this. I'm talking to someone particular. God will wipe your tears. Write it down if you care. God will wipe your tears. As we pray tonight, whatever look like an evil cloud that is hindering you from seeing good, today the God of Oyedepo will tear that cloud in your favor. Rise up to your feet now. We have 10 good minutes for this prayer. Please, as you pray, believe God that the possible will take place. That barriers will be cleared for you. That decisions will be upturned for you. That reproach will be wiped away for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Holy Ghost. You are the custodian of signs. Let this night be a night of the miraculous. Giving everyone their heart's desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Oh God, arise for me. By fire, crush every invisible barrier surrounding my destiny. Likushina epeletu Jesus yake kaleta impredio zikukata mesonekle ketu zezure shikata impaya paya tu suzelete by your fire clear every barrier let your fire crush every invisible barrier surrounding my destiny surrounding my destiny surrounding my life let your fire clear every barrier let your fire clear every barrier rekato zilangerata isoso enklopa reshia ketane rutapa ekoto elaba shadanas nesoneko preketelia lift up your voice and pray Father, arise for me. I place a demand on your hand. Crush every invisible barrier surrounding my destiny. In the name of Jesus, arise. Clear every invisible barrier. In Palatu, Jekuna Meletete, Jeklosezeri Ale Tagadash. In Rodono Sogodo, E Cabalados, Jaclo Perete Lete, Lacote Perioso, Lacote Perioso, Isodo Lebre di Zagaga, Lebrodo Zogodo, Ragadagagagagagagagagaga, Jacutapa, Belatega, Resonagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
Father, in the name of Jesus, manifest your power for my change of story. Manifest your power for my new level of glory. Manifest your power for my new level of manifestation. Lift up your voice and pray. 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 Cry out from the depth of your heart. Lakotoperiada. In Sozonoto. Lekotaba. If you are filled with the spirit, pray in the spirit. Pray in understanding. Pray in the spirit. Zekotapa. Iketelia de Seta. Masotenosha. Mekoteruta. Mekuka Pralita. In Solodododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododododod
show yourself awesome god show yourself awesome god show yourself in my life awesome god show yourself in my destiny awesome god show yourself in my family awesome god show yourself in my business awesome god show yourself in this church show yourself show yourself awesome god arise for me do what makes you awesome in my life do what makes you awesome in my life do what makes you awesome father arise for me by the blood of jesus and by the fire of the holy ghost break every protocol by the blood of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost break protocols break protocols break protocols break protocols to settle me 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 break protocols to make a way break protocols break protocols to settle me break protocols to establish rest break protocols to create an opportunity break protocols to give me that breakthrough break protocols lift up your voice pray cry out to god Lakato, god of oyeriko god of oyeriko arise manifest your wonders god of oyeriko manifest your wonders god of oyeriko manifest your wonders in my life manifest in my your wonders Lakateria and Zozole Kukata and Prapale and Zuruale Kato, Shekukaleke, 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 Eroplakaka, Eroplakaka, Shekukakakare, 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 Eroplakarushka, Maria Kotoni and the Hill. And Susune Iaha, Jacucale Cata, and Robale Alecata, Jacotecate, Jacotecate, Leroba Sataya. Thank you. Thank you. Narrow Shakata. A strange object will leave somebody's body. I don't know who the person is but i hear it clear that strange object will leave your body if you are saying amen say it better amen what has made you to cry terribly is ending today with a testimony i say it's ending today with a testimony i say it's ending today with a wonders the God of wonders is showing up for you. That decision that suspended progress in your life, it is overturned in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Even the people involved, they will be surprised at the way things are happening for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. What is needed for you to change level is manifesting from today. This communion is a communion of wonders. As you partake of this communion, whatever look like a hidden mysterious covenant that is fighting blessing from staying in your life, the spell is broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever is fighting blessing from entering your life, the spell is broken in the name of Jesus. I speak with prophetic authority. You have entered your rests. Your days of struggle, they are over. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That amen is not yet touching heaven. They have been diverting your blessing. Mark my word. From today, they will begin to deliver their blessing. 
no blessing will be diverted in your life again. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. of the air has received against you. Whatever is manipulating events in your life, I decree by the power of the blood, the spell is crushed. I say by the blood, the spell is crushed. By the blood, the spell is crushed. Any arrow flying looking for you, I speak for with authority, let them go back for the sender. So shall it be. Any power shooting arrow for you in your dream, I kill them by fire. Whoever that witch is, I command vengeance for their death in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for somebody now. I command vengeance for their death in the name of Jesus. Whoever is using evil bed to attack you mysteriously, I command let the evil bed die in the air. Let them go and kill the sender. By the blood, no invocation will answer on your head. No sorcery will take place against your family. By the blood, whoever wants you to go, let the person go for you. Every plan they have made, let the person making the plan be a victim of that plan. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Powers limiting your wonders, your their assignments over your life is crushed. By the blood, I command whatever want to swallow you to go for you. Amen. That amen is not good enough. Whatever I've opened their mouth to swallow you, let the blood swallow them. Let the blood swallow them. Let the blood swallow your swallower. Let the blood swallow whatever I want to swallow you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any witchcraft power swallowing your words by the blood, let them vomit it by fire. By the blood, let them vomit it by fire. By the blood, let them vomit it by fire. You will not end this month empty. You will end this month with favor. You will end this month with abundance. You will end this month with abundance. You will end this month with breakthrough. You will end this month with good news. You will end this month with amazing supply. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That which you have been running after, it will answer to you this week. It must be delivered to you this week. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Don't forget, whatever has been enchanted within your neighborhood, they backfire. Any power sponsoring depression in your house by the blood, let their invocation backfire. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the goodness together. Surely.
of God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.